Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of binomial theorem. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us to find out the value of 2p plus 3q where the data which is given to us says coefficients of x and x square are 4 and minus 5 respectively in the expansion of 1 plus x raised to p into 1 minus x raised to q. So let's figure out the value of 2p plus 3q. And if I talk about the answer choices that are present that are given to us, they say 66, 60, 69. And the last answer choice given to us, it says 63. So these are the four answer choices given and we need to figure out which one of the answer choice is the correct answer for the question that is the value of 2p plus 3q. So let's figure out how to solve this question. Before starting off with the solution, I would first like to say that please do subscribe to my channel because it takes a lot of efforts in making this videos for you every day. Let's see the question now. So if I try to solve this, if I try to expand this idea using the concept of binomial theorem, so 1 plus x the whole raised to p and 1 minus x the whole raised to q, we have been told that the coefficient of x in this case is 4 and coefficient of x square in this case is minus 5. So if I try to expand this using our idea for 1 plus x raised to n, we can write that as 1 plus nx. So in this case, it's px plus p into p minus 1 divided by 2 into x square plus further. We don't need to write this because we need only the terms till x and x square multiplied with 1 minus x raised to q. So when it is minus, we have alternate minus and plus. So it becomes 1 minus qx plus q into q minus 1 divided by 2 x squared minus again if i'm putting this dot dots because we don't need those terms after that so if i try to multiply these ideas let's see what i get so i have 1 minus qx plus q into q minus 1 divided by 2 x squared so basically i've multiplied with this one with the entire bracket only we are multiplying till x square because we need only the terms till x square further if i multiply px with this i get plus px minus pqx squared plus this basically if you see i multiply p into this entire thing it becomes x cube which is not needed for us we need only the terms till x square next if i multiply this with one i get plus p p minus one divided by two x squared minus i get from here again p p minus one divided by two into q and it becomes x cube that is also not needed for us so we need only this terms and further I can just write this as dot 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 dot. Now further, if I see here, I get 1 plus terms of x, I have px and minus qx. So p minus qx. For x squared, if I see, I have this coefficient p into p minus 1 divided by 2 minus p into q plus q into q minus 1 divided by 2. This whole thing is present with x squared. Then we have further all the terms. So let's keep it as it is. So this is our entire expansion. Now the question tells us that the coefficient of x is 4. So basically the coefficient of x, which is p minus q, that becomes 4. So we get p minus q is equal to 4. And the second expansion, if I see the coefficient of x square means this entire bracket that is basically given to us as minus 5. So from here, I get this as p, p minus 1 divided by 2, minus pq, plus q, q minus 1 divided by 2, equals minus 5. So if I multiply throughout by 2 everywhere, I get this as p square minus p, minus 2pq, plus q square minus q, is equal to minus 10. So from here, I get this as p square minus 2pq plus q square minus common p plus q equals minus 10. So if I see this, basically, it's nothing but what? 
a square minus 2ab plus b square, which is nothing but expansion of a minus b the whole square, so p minus q the whole square, minus p plus q equals minus 10. So from here, I have p minus q as 4. If I substitute that p minus q as 4 in this question, I get 4 square is minus p plus q equals minus 10. So if I figure out this further, uh, try to solve it, 16 plus 10 is equals to p plus q. So from here, I get p plus q as 26. So I have two ideas with me in terms of p and q. Now, once I have those two ideas with me, it's p minus q equals 4 and p plus q equals 26. If I try to add the two equations, I get this as 2p is equal to 30. And when I have 2p equals 30, I get from there p as 15. Once I have p as 15, I can just figure out the value of q, which is 26 minus 15. That's basically 11. So I have the value of q also. Now, once I have the two values with me, that is basically the values for p and q, we can just figure out the value for this expression which is asked to us that says 2 into p plus 3 into q so that gives me 2 into 15 plus 3 into 11 so that basically makes it 30 plus 33 which is nothing but 63 so i get the answer for the question which is asked to us and that matches with option d so d becomes the correct answer here for the question that is given to us I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions on binomial theorem. So we just use the idea of the expansion of this that 1 plus x raised to n. So we have this idea with us. We multiplied the two brackets and got the expressions till the coefficients of x squared. Once I had the coefficients of x and x squared, I just equated them with the given data that is 4 and minus 5. That gave me the values of E and Q after solving them. And once I got E and Q, I just put that in the expression and got the answer as option D. So D becomes a correct answer here. I hope you have understood how to solve this question. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JEE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JEE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.